I'm not so bad. Well, you did kill that one guy. I'd be fine if someone could just slide my head up a bit. Simpsons creator Matt Groening is bringing a new animated series into our lives on Netflix. Disenchantment, set in the medieval-esque kingdom of Dreamland, will premiere on August 17th with 10 episodes, which will explore darker themes than Groening has covered on previous shows. Speaking with The Hollywood Reporter recently, the 64-year-old animation pioneer says, The Simpsons is a family sitcom, Futurama was a workplace comedy, and Disenchantment is a show about three damaged people, voiced by Abby Jacobson, Nat Faxon and Eric Andre, in a magical world trying to figure out who they are and where they are going. He elaborates, the show takes some dark turns and there is some tragedy. If you're sensitive, you might tear up at some point. And while there may be some nods to other beloved works from the same genre, such as Monty Python and the Holy Grail and Game of Thrones, Groening stresses that his show will not be a string of parodies. We wanted the world of Dreamland to resonate and be real. We found the best way to tell an arc was to plot it dramatically and add jokes, he says. Of the Game of Thrones reference that crops up early in the first episode, he adds, we wanted to get it out of the way because people are going to be looking for it. Disenchantment, which is Groening's first new series since Futurama premiered nearly 20 years ago, is one of the higher profile swings amid a huge push into adult animation for Netflix, with Amazon and Apple also snapping up similar projects. Groening has always loved working for Fox, he says, but it was time for some change. Part of that change has come in the form of workflow, which is vastly different when working for a streaming service that allows viewers to binge watch a series in one sitting. We don't have to backtrack and remind people where they are in the story, says Groening. We don't have to do a sitcom reset for each episode that we're all used to. And the animation guru is pleased with the relationship he has built with the streamer. We are not doing disenchantment completely in the dark. Netflix has certainly been paying attention and all the notes have been very supportive and ones we agree with. I don't mind notes if they make sense. My experience with Fox on Futurama was the notes that were given were contradictory. We were not able to address the notes without annoying another note giver. With a dozen primetime Emmy Awards under his belt, Groening is unassuming about his creation success. You try to surround yourself with great writers and great animators and great actors and great musicians and see what you can come up with, he says. What makes a really successful show is when everyone is helping everyone else enjoy the experience. On Disenchantment, he's particularly fond of Jacobson's Princess Bean, who he says is not a perfect princess. There are more consequences to her actions, and Abby brings a feminist point of view to the words graining enthuses. And if fans take issue with the princess's drunken misadventures, the way they have recently taken issue with the Simpsons' resident small business owner, Apuna Hasapima Petalon, they won't be able to act graining about it. I have no internet presence whatsoever, the animator says, because I'm too sensitive. Something that started decades ago and was applauded and inoffensive is now politically incorrect. What can you do? On the topic of Apu, when asked if it's fair to request that it create a change a long-standing character he loves because the cultural context has shifted, Groening says no. Then adds a moment later, it's a free country. Everybody gets to pipe up. <laughs> All 10 episodes of Disenchantment will drop on Netflix on August 17th. To read more on the story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.